pieces of canyons. But they say we have between 80 and 90 is what they say we currently have on the island. So how'd they actually get rid of them? Well, after a little while, the Lakota Sioux tribe back in South Dakota, they end up getting word of the Conservancy giving away their bison. Uh, back in South Dakota, that Lakota Sioux tribe, they have a large reservation. Plenty of room for the bison to get 20 pounds of grass a day. Also, the Native Americans, they revere the bison. They use it in all kinds of traditions and ceremonies. If they do happen to slaughter one of the bison, they will make sure that it's one of the oldest bison. And none of that bison goes to waste. They use every bit of it. The meat, the bones, the skin, the hooves, the horns, everything. So, the Coders Two Tribe said, hey, we'll take as many bison as you're willing to give us. Well, that brought the next problem. Transportation. How to get them there. Everything that gets shipped to the island and everything that gets shipped off the island bison off, uh, off the island. Now the Conservancy need a way to kind of keep the remaining bison population under control. They did not want that bison population getting to be over 600 ever again. At that time in Yellowstone, they were having great success with a uh, birth control they were using on the wild horses. So in 2008, they decided to try it on the female bison here on the island. The way they would administer this birth control of female bison. They kind of found that the old ways were the best. They would have cowboys come over here on horseback. They would round up the bison on the corral that we have left over from the old ranch in the island. Once the bison were all round up, they would then inject the female bison with this birth control. That birth control would last for about a year, so they only had to round up the bison once a year. And it did work pretty well, because while they were on this birth control, there was only one baby bison for them. That was in 2011. As time went on, that bison population started to drop down. And by 2015,
current cause for what to do about the problem. side of the runway that's kind of facing us. That plane actually brings over some of our freight to the island. Anything that's lightweight enough to be flown over the island, all our FedEx, our UPS, our mail, Amazon, that all gets shipped over on that plane. Anything too heavy to be shipped over on the plane gets shipped over on the barge. So anybody, all our food, all our gas, anybody gets any new, uh, a new vehicle, sofa, refrigerator, anything like that, that all gets shipped over on a barge. Yes, we do get Amazon Prime here. We don't get next day shipping like you guys get on the mainland, but I still we like three to five business days, so not a, not too bad. We will stop here, we'll let you get out, stretch your legs, use the restroom if you need to. This okay. will be the only restroom break on the tour, so if you need to go to the bathroom, this is the place to do it. Straight ahead between the pot of plants down the hall to the right of the restrooms, through the double doors, a little souvenir shop, that's where you can find the they do have some killer cookies up here. Do you highly recommend the cookies.